My name is Alicia Cox and I work at Castile High School. I teach sports medicine and rehabilitation. So my educational philosophy is definitely, I call it a learning party in my class. I want kids to feel they can be themselves, but also feel empowered. Sports medicine field is dangerous for the simple fact that we have athletes that are doing pretty phenomenal things and sometimes they become injured. She is a phenomenal teacher. In the two years that she has come on, she's doubled um, our, our program. So she is a six-fifths teacher, so she has six full classes. She is the largest number in the district for sports medicine and she truly implements um, a quality program that students love and enjoy and want to continue through even after they've become completers. The concept of safety is really, really extremely important because it's everything that we do with sports medicine. We're dealing with human lives, we're dealing with actual injuries. We can actually be the difference between a temporary injury or something that's long-term or something that's permanent. So. Students, regardless of age, they're always going to be um, keen to repetition. So you have to set a standard, you have to keep with the standard, and you have to be consistent in what you're doing. If you're looking to build a, a school or to change um, and start looking towards the 21st century, CTE is a core value you should have in your high school. With CTE, what we've been able to do and implement is really show the where the world's going and to provide those skill sets for students that they wouldn't normally have. The misconception about CTE is that it's what you do when you're not going to college. But what CTE has become now in the 21st century is it's a prerequisite, it's a, it's a required uh, extra step to get you advanced into college. When it comes to safety and keeping people protected, taping an ankle incorrectly or not providing the protective measures could actually cause or worsen an injury instead of actually helping it. I use CareerSafe in my program because it is targeted specifically for the healthcare field. So understanding that OSHA is not the first time they hear it when they get to their job. They've already had the experience, they already have the training, and they have the knowledge behind it. And that OSHA is um, it, it's so many levels of of knowledge that's embedded into it from bloodborne pathogens to um, documentation to protecting documentation and reporting an injury or an accident and just understanding that as a, an employee you have um, rights and as a patient you have rights. OSHA 10 absolutely helps implement uh, a step up for kids when they're applying to, for um, positions in the real world. It gives them a certification, it sets them apart from uh, any of their peers when they're applying for different positions as well as it gives them an opportunity to show that they have experience and they've committed to something and so that they've followed through with a skill set and they've mastered it and earned a certification and that sets them apart from their peers when they're applying for positions. They're not afraid to speak up now because if they see something that's done incorrectly they actually will speak up and that's the one thing that I wanted to know is that don't sit quietly and watch something being done incorrectly if you know the correct way that it's supposed to be done.